Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where today we are going to help Cortalo test his arm way the frig over here. So, oh no, I didn't go there. We're gonna have to, oh no. Oh, just kidding. Oh, freak, okay. Let me make a backpack really quick. I don't have any smoke bombs. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we are in a place where I have a table. Let me, okay, let me do that really quick. I do need to craft things somewhere. There's a crafting place in here. Okay. I'm all geared up, but I did not make a backpack. Good thing they're very easy to make. This. I'm hoping this is high enough where I could just like glide down, but we'll see. It should be if I remember the geography appropriately. May your enemies fall. In the name Champion. of the I haven't been here in Over ages. Here. I've got something to tell you. you no, you're a gossip person. I'm not so going to listen to you. Their the outfits are so good. <laughs> Whoop. I break forgot my fall. the button. I keep wanting to press X in the sky. I think this Here is where Cortano wanted to test out his new arm. Even though he didn't say how exactly. What are we gonna... I should let him are we gonna fight a... Out. Are we gonna fight another mammoth? Or are we gonna fight hey, each Katala? other? Or what? I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Wanna test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. I'm excited to see it! Cool prosthetic, it'll be really Thank cool. you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. Well, is he getting a little bit lackadaisical? Someone's being awful Not like mysterious. A yeah, he's getting a little, you having a little fun with it. What you wanted to do to the bulwark? I, Consider I did. this my revenge. Fair enough. That's a good point. Yeah. We were in a hurry last time, though. I think, and also, I wasn't sure you'd go along with it. I think, I think Aloy was it. worried he wouldn't. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. Uh, what? What? All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. I hear something in the distance. It has menaced the valley for some time. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan. But no longer. It's got bad ears. I'm honored to help. It's a cat. It's a cat with bad ears. Let's see. Oh. Why is it missing a finger? After you. Why also could be not Let's testing. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal. Oh, okay. Um, also, I feel like we're just gonna have to go in, guns blazing, I, what, well, hang on, let's... Go, Catalo, it's up to you, buddy! Ooh, it got on top. Oh, I am stuck on the rock. Cool. Nope, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair. I see why it's called a scorcher! Oh my gosh, I see! I am no one is trying to knock what I assume is the gun off of its back. 
Nice to know through the world. I would need to fly to find out what happened to me. I would need to fly. I don't want to hear. Oh my gosh, this thing is fast. Also, Katala, what are you doing? Come on. This is supposed to be for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yikes! <laughs> oh. Using explosives or attacking their legs. I, it is a gun. I am trying to knock the gun thing off of it. Oh my gosh! I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Dang it. There we go, jeez. Uh... Oh, just that, awesome. Love that for me, love that for me. Ah! Oh, what did I just knock off of it? Oh, I knocked off the scanning here. Nice. Ammunition. Taking a long time. The rope casters in the previous game were a lot better. Oh, well, okay. Oh, jeez. You're welcome. I did most of the work. Brutal. Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here, something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. Bye. I do like that, right? Where it's like, you know, you did all that work to try to replace something you lost. Well, a behemoth force float, but what? And also. What is, what is this new toy you gave me? Oh, wait. Special gear. It's a special gear. Right? No? Ancient sculpture. Yeah, the gold ingot. I got the scorcher. Behemoth. Oh, I thought it was like a weapon. I was like, cool. No, okay. He just gave me something from the machine, which is cool. Um, but no, it's always good. Like you work really hard to like try to like augment this part of yourself, like to to bring back what you what you what you lost, and then like along the way you realize that like you know, you you are complete the way you are. Like you, what happens to you is just part of your story, you know and makes you more even if you feel like you're like less you know i don't know maybe i've obviously like well not obviously but i've never lost a limb <laughs> so um so i can't really speak to that obviously but why is it not going to my pouch it's weird 
But that's just kind of the vibe I get, so. But that was not very long at all. Let's head back. Now we gotta talk to Gaia. And maybe Beta? I don't know. Like I said in the last one, I didn't really want to look it up too far because I know there's stuff that can be spoiled, but most the thing I could see was that somebody seemed to have an issue with not being able to talk to Beta when she first came in, and you have to talk to Varl and Gaia to get the door unlocked. Um, but that's not, not the case for us, so I'm going to assume it's just something to do with the fact that she's like building the bomb or whatever it is that she's building. That she's very melancholic about that she doesn't think it's gonna work. I can't blame her. I can't blame her. Her upbringing wasn't great, right? But it's an explanation, not an excuse. <laughs> so I can still be like, why are you like this? You know. <laughs> so I also think it's kind of funny they don't just put me in the base. Uh, I think it must have something to do with. You know, I don't know, maybe something triggers sometimes when you, like, are, like, right in the base and they let you kind of walk in so you don't necessarily trigger stuff right out the gate, but I'd rather just be in there. I was like, oh my gosh, is her door locked? Welcome back. Thanks. Do I have a do I have a thing for you? I don't think so. Hmm. It's just got a star on it, so. Aloy. I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have oh, a new, new problem. problem. Is Did it something Beta? Go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will uh -huh. we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network. Of course, it just power. couldn't be that easy. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Well, I know where their base is. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Oh, okay. that's great. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, <laughs> you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. I knew it. I'm not good at talking to people. Aloy's not. Any, me neither, really. Wait. Uh, hang on. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have other things to talk Aloy. to Guy about. I believe Varl is still waiting for you outside Beta's room. I know. I just wanted to talk about something else first. As you wish. Hmm. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a back door to the Zero Dawn system without Elizabeth's knowledge. 
My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. Okay, well, that's good. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why I got Ted Pharaoh's Omega clearance. Correct. While you were gone, Beta constructed the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it. Not quite. I'm terrified. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? Because the work will be split between you and Beta, it will take approximately 4.5 hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then should. we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. It's not gonna go, it's not gonna do it. Also, taking Gaia out of here and putting her in a little capsule is actually really terrifying to me. It feels very, very risky. Like, I don't like having her in that, like, in a portable form. Because they could just, the Zenus can just yoink her. Errand handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst I think we already talked Osirao about this. Curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So there's a few people here now, and they're learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing he their hopes and that. fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene to allow him to process this on his own terms. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked yeah, that's why they're on here. numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed <laughs> by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, gonna go over yeah. well. No thanks. That is what I predicted. Guys, like, real. I I have a lot of data, and I'm gonna is tell you Katara now. Is <laughs> getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be calling data that. on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private I'm sure pastime she would. for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. He's a, he's a lone wolf kind of guy. As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. 
Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. Interesting. All right, we did all those. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Pharaoh agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreath before oh, they could yeah. contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really were was able the to hack. solution. This is the game developers being like, no, <laughs> slapping your ideas down for the for, for alternate methods to zero dawn. This was the only there was way. There's a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. What have you been doing this the whole time? It contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world. So I guess it's on us. It is. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built a dome over the city. Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Flora Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be one. exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved? Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the so Ted Farrow I, bunker. Uh, found thieves. Yeah, okay, what here we go. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself Ugh. it was his Doesn't duty thinking to about future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans, and his ability to use Omega clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep, glad that didn't happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thieves, yeah. there was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. We haven't found that yet. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Did the Pharaoh Plague find Oh them? no. Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. I wonder if Ted Pharaoh killed it essentially. Dang, he did. The last survive he even killed the last surviving humans who just wanted to like live out their lives potentially. 
I don't know. Maybe there was just a flaw in the facility or somebody in there decided that they, you know, we all just need to die now. But it sounds like a, if, like, life support was gone, it sounds like potentially everybody would have suffocated to death, which is, like, really terrible. I found some data. It mentioned that there are still Oops. functional seed beds. Why is it there? My predecessor uh -huh. primary had everything God been able uh -huh. to. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it yes. will have in order to act. And for that, we need a fest. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, back. What about the old again? I'll be on my way. No. Time I wish you safe travels. Oh, now you put the black background in. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't go too long. We need to go get Beta. Talk her off a ledge again. She is down. Aloy. I tried, mm. but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. What, you're gonna drag her out there? Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. Uh, I'd like to say that, but I don't think we have the relationship, and I think she we would respond better to plan. more logic, reason, you stuff. You helped come up with it. Without you there, the probability that the Zeniths discover us is high. But with you, that risk is much less. We'll get Hephaestus, get out, and come back here. It'll be okay. What are you okay. gonna do here by yourself if we get caught? No! You can't guarantee that! I told you from the beginning we'll never I be- I can't guarantee your safety here! It's hopeless! Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. Can't Gaia talk I don't to understand. Her? We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? I had a dad. Tell her Rost stories. <gasps> Maybe. We have had hints of Rost memorabilia throughout the series. Like, Rost memories. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Beta. Aloy still has to. You don't have a defect. deal with her emotions Lita. too look it's not a piece of elizabeth the difference is i had him frost he raised you trained you but he was never warm or loving the day he died the day he gave you that charm he was going to abandon you he wanted me to embrace the tribe but then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. It looks impossible. Look deeper. 
and then fight like you can win. Don't mind me, she's gonna cry a little. You don't have to go on the mission. That's with the baby thing we'll on his back. Mm. I'll go. Like he said, odds are in our favor if I do. We have to succeed. But you have to promise me one thing. If she gets yoinked and I have to rescue her. If it goes back, I'm gonna be very upset. If the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Okay. Promise. I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merch, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. We're gonna get down to like four hours and 20 minutes. Well, I'm glad that worked. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. There's... No, if there was like secrets, there's this door that I can't get in. That's I think that's Beta's room. That's her hey, private room. I just Do wanted to make sure you're okay. Words? I am. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Well, this is mo a lot more cordial. Alva's joined us. Have you two had a chance to talk? She told me she's not allowed to access a lot of the data her people have. Similar to the restrictions I had in my training interface. I told her that if we succeed at Gemini, then once we return, I'll help her search for more ways to help her family. Even though Gaia will fix the biosphere, it'll take time for farmlands to fully recover. So, I want to help speed things up. How so? Bioengineering of more resilient plant strains, novel crop production methods, equipment upgrades, something that might help in the short term. Oh, that's why she's here. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Because we have those seed banks here. In this area, somewhere. Um, so that would be really helpful if I could get all that figured out, but as far as I know, I've done everything I can so far. Maybe so when you talk to the others, are you I calling them know. over the focus? No, they'll come down here to visit. Like Erend. He's funny, but loud. I wish I could show him the media portal and the data channel. I think he would like the sports hollows. There was one where two people would criticize each other before wrestling to see who was stronger. It was bizarre and violent, but I think Aaron would enjoy it. Yeah, you're right. I bet he would. <laughs> so how goes studying up on the merge? Guy and I have added a function that will display a holographic interface to visualize the data stream from Hephaestus. It should make expunging its malicious code a little more efficient. That's great. Whatever we can do to cut down the merge time is going to increase our chance of success. Good work. I'll continue to search for other ways to speed up the process. But whenever you're ready, I am too. I gotta go. All right. Be safe. Oh, okay. Uh, hang on. I want to see is the exclamation point. New, new quest. New quest. Oh my gosh, they're doing everything in their power to keep me from starting the main quest. It's a good thing I'm such a high level. I think this game would be a lot more difficult since I don't really have a grasp on efficient combat. So, 
that's good. Anyway, I'm going to call this one here. The talking took quite a while, so I hope this episode isn't too long. But thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm really glad we were able to get Ayla. It didn't come up too much. and Maybe it would have come up more if I had clicked on the little data entries in my room more often, but Aloy has periodically, Varl has brought it up specifically, been trying to deal, still deal with her loss of Rost. She hasn't really had time to sit down and do that, you know? She's been very, very busy since his death. Everything's just gone to heck, you know? So it's good to see her working through all that, at least a little bit, you know? So anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, when I say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Adam and Christopher. Thank you both so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it a lot. You guys are the super bestest and I super appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.